is a 38.7 gram all up weight. That's with this 450 milliamp 1S battery. It includes the battery and it performs unreal. It is so light and small, it should not be able to tolerate even the lightest of breezes, but somehow it's flying by the beach where it's not, it wasn't a windy day, but it wasn't not windy, so it should have been blown around. I have built something very similar to this a while ago with brushed motors, and that thing was really awesome. Still didn't have great control, but it was really awesome. But the problem with that was that it cost like $75 to build, and at that time that was a good price, but it was too much money for something that wears out. And I got really tired of, of changing motors and dealing with it, so I just gave up on that thing completely. Fast forward to today, we have brushless motors, we got all this new stuff, new tech, new everything. And what this is, is just a 1S brushless whoop. And the brushless whoops are awesome, by the way. But this is just a 1S brushless whoop. And people that have done micros know this King Kong 66, 65mm prop. It's actually 66mm, I believe. 65mm prop because it's like a magical prop. Somehow this prop has the same or less load than a whoop prop. And when you put it on any motor, it loves high KV, it loves RPM. These are 22,000 KV motors. And that's the magic of this quad. In fact, when I first built this quad, hold on, let me tell you where it came from. So let's talk about whoops. These are whoops. And what I see as most charming about these little whoops or the new breed of whoops that are all brushless is that everything is built into one board. There's only one board in there. It has the flight controller, receiver, um, ESEs, all that built into the, the same board, and then you have your camera and uh, VTX on a separate like little unit that you just solder onto the board. And they also don't have solder connectors for the motors. They just plug in, the motor wires just plug in. So this whole thing can be built in a matter of minutes. It's really, really, really simple. And that's really super charming. And when I first saw it, I'm like, whoa, this is great. I think maybe I could run those King Kong 65 millimeter props. Well, it took me a long time to design a frame and get it around. I've been busy and doing various other things. I had this frame designed for months and um, I actually did a pretty crappy job of designing the frame. I didn't think about how I was gonna build it. I didn't even look at the whoop when I was gonna build it. So my original idea was to take this board and mount it like this upside down so that I could plug the motor wires in from above. But then I realized I can't mount it upside down and I don't remember why because now I think about it and I think I could actually mount it upside down and just remap the motors. Um, you just wouldn't be able to access the USB port without taking the top off. And I would probably design a top that can just have access to the USB. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore that a little bit further. Uh, and so then I made a version two of the frame and made holes in the bottom so I can access the stuff from underneath and plug them in, which is still not perfect, but it's a lot better. And so I still built one and I flew it with these whoop props and it was absolutely awful. It had no control, no power, no performance, no nothing. I was confused because I had built a brushed version, which brushed motors, even though the motors were much bigger than these little brushless motors, they have way less power, way less performance, way less everything. And it was able to handle the props fine. So I was just confused. I just threw it aside because I'm like, okay, this is not gonna work out. This is far-fetched, whatever. Let's move on to other things. And then I ordered these props. I ordered these props like a month and a half before Thanksgiving and they just arrived three days ago. I couldn't even, I couldn't even believe it took that long to arrive. It took forever. Thanks very much to Banggood. Those are the downsides of Banggood sometimes. It just takes forever for something to arrive. I threw them on the quad, I hovered it, and I was like, whoa, this is very, very different. And then I took it out and flew at FPV and I was, I was sh I shocked, totally shocked. I came inside. I got in chat with, with Emacs, I told them, listen, you have to make this a product because it is unreal how simple, easy, and just so delicate it is, yet it performs incredible, and it's super durable, and it's so low, low, low weight. So now let's talk about the weight. The weight is a very important factor here, and the reason why I say it's such an important factor is because I want the ability to fly just about anywhere, and that's what you get with a quad of this weight. And when you have something that weighs less than 50 grams, you're not going to be you're not going to be making noise. You're not going to be disturbing people. You can fly around people, not like super crowded areas and not like on a freeway or something, but you can fly at a park with people having a picnic and you can fly around them and they won't even notice you. In fact, when I was flying around, I couldn't even hear the quad. I, I had to look for myself with the quad because I didn't know where I was. I can't you can't even hear this thing from like 10 feet away. People don't even notice it until it's three feet away from their face. It's really amazing. And on top of that, because it weighs nothing, 
you can't really hurt anybody with it. Yeah, you can go full speed into someone's eye, but that's really hard to do if you're paying just a little bit of attention, and that's probably why you don't want to fly it around super populated areas. But you can pretty much fly this anywhere. It's it's as safe as it could possibly get with the best possible performance. And like I said, I don't I don't know how one S can perform this well. Anyways, the parts list of this is in the description below. And this one is, is the Snapper 7. It's actually a, a Snapper 7. It performs okay. It has 19,000 kV motors, but I don't think they're actually 19,000 kV. I would bet they're more like 14,000 kV. This quad, which is one that I built all the parts, well, I, I bought all the parts independently and I put it on a whoop frame. This thing performs way, way, way better than any of the other pre-built whoops that I had. These are the Racer Star 0703 22,000 kV motors, and it has the same... Um, crazy B or whatever flight controller board all in one thing in there. But I wouldn't even recommend this because we have a whole new wave of, of whoop stuff coming out and I haven't put 2S on this thing either. <laughs> 2S is going to be freaking wild. But the new wave of stuff will have better motors. So the Eoshin trash can that's coming out has 0803 motors, which are I mean, significantly bigger than these little 0703 motors. And um, I think that's going to make it perform a whole lot better whole lot better 22,000 kV might be a little bit much for such a large prop it has a lot of power in the bottom half of the throttle and the top half it kind of gives up a little bit but I can't believe I'm even saying that because it's so tiny and it I shouldn't even be considering the throttle but it actually does have pretty good throttle feel and so I'm really looking forward to putting 2s on it however at 2s this is 1s and I have crashed it into everything and i broke it this is a beta f if you probably notice it this is a beta fpv top thing and that's really the biggest downside is that this little top thing is just so weak and not strong and not durable that i've it cracked it every single time i hit everything and i've crashed this thing a whole load of times already into like concrete and dirt and everything and so i got some work to do i got some work to do on the frame i got some work to do on uh, how to mount the camera better but you pretty much can't break it aside from this little top plate thing you can't break it you might bend the prop a little bit <laughs> but you you can't really break it i've been flying this the same the same set of props on this since i built it, it it's i put like maybe 30 40 packs through it already it's so much fun to have something that's so light so controllable so nice to fly that you can fly anywhere anyways that's it for now, I'm still going to keep working on this. You're going to hear more about it because I really do plan to make the frame available. And I I can't wait till people fly this thing because they too will be super impressed at how the performance is so incredible for something that should not be able to perform this well. Anyways, don't forget to floss your teeth. Talk to you later. Bye.